we came along late in the game, and uh, we got that job because we had had Dick Clare and Jenna McMahon as performers, guests on the Steve Allen Show about a dozen times. They did a, an, an act together and little vignettes and were really funny, and they had been writers on the Burnett Show, I, not from the beginning, but for a long time. And uh, so that helped us. Uh, Dick Clare put in a word. I guess they had an opening. Yeah, in fact, Barry Levinson and Rudy DeLuca were leaving the show. <laughs> so we actually ended up in their office. And also, uh, we, had, we had known that uh, Carol took out an ad in the trades saying how great she thought Dick Van Dyke was in an episode that we had written where he's out on a ledge of a building mm -hmm. for the, essentially the whole half hour doing, uh, talking to himself on a ledge. No other performers except for the very beginning. And so uh, we somehow got that message uh, either to Dick Clare or something. But anyway, we ended up working there. Joe Hamilton was the executive producer. And, we were working with uh, Norman Lear's former partner, Ed Simmons, who was the head writer. And, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great job. I mean, we love, you know, it was writing sketches again. Next door to us was uh, uh, Bill Richmond, a uh, fun writer and a great guy. We went a million lunches with him and his partner, Gene Parrott. We'd worked with Bill uh, earlier on a Mel Torme special where we first met him years earlier uh, at CBS. He was a drummer. He, he, for, yeah, yeah. A, a, he was professional a professional jazz drummer. He had great yeah. big stories. Band big band drummer with the Harry James Band and Les Brown. And just a, just a fun guy. Uh, be a great interview for uh, you guys here, in fact. And uh, so it was, uh, we were there for one season and then they started making changes. And uh, I think, I might be right, I think it was Harvey Corman's last year and although the series did come back, I think Dick Van Dyke then went, came and took, as I remember, it took uh, Harvey's part and did the last year on the Carol Burnett show. The show ran just like a well-oiled machine. I mean, every Friday at 4.30 they taped a dress and every 7.30 they taped an air show. You wrote, uh, our, our assignment was we, you write a, we wrote for Harvey and Carol, and uh, don't wor we didn't worry about guest stars. They would they we, we we would clear the premise with Ed Simmons, and go right and either get an okay or not. We got several uh, turned down premises turned down. When when it was accepted, you went and you wrote the sketch for Harvey and Carol. Uh, if later it worked better for a guest, then. Uh, it went to the guests. For example, I know we wrote a sketch where uh, 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 Harvey was a nightclub comic, you know, a Don Rickles kind of insult comic, and he, and uh, he, the show bombs and and uh, uh, well, it's pointless to describe yeah. the sketch. But the, but as it turned out, uh, Steve Lawrence was going to be a guest, so he took the part. He was oh, perfect. Yeah. So it was it was, and we wrote a lot of just a two person sketches. And uh, that was it. We, we, other than Carol coming by into our office our, the first week and looking around at this tiny little cubicle we were in and remarking that it certainly needed the woman's touch, I think that was about the only uh, real conversations we ever had with her. Ed and Joe Hamilton, you know, they, they were the liaison to Carol. We would have, see a run through every Wednesday and we would be in the rehearsal hall for that, but that was it. Was the, st the style of the show, I remember, um, if they made a mistake, they'd laugh through it. It yeah. seemed like they didn't yeah. like, it, it, the feeling was that they didn't do uh, extra takes to clean things up, and kind of breaking up was okay a lot. Yeah, Especially with Tim yeah. Conway and Harvey Corbin. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, it seems like you pretty much have it right, but they, di they didn't have to do really, because they taped both the dress of the air. So they always sort of had that safety net under them when they did the uh, air show. Saturday Night Live does that to this day. When you're writing the sketch, when you were writing the sketch, mm -hmm. being aware of it, um, 
Were, did you actually think that there were parts or funny things that they would crack out? Never, or no, never, even, never. never we, wrote, we would write the sketch tight okay. to our to what we thought was a, a good sketch. I don't know that writers are necessarily love the breaking up uh, of of sketches. I, I don't think we did in, in any way, just speaking for us. But uh, I think that was primarily to a Tim Conway, uh, Harvey kind of. Thing. Um, those two had that going. Uh, I mean, I mean, I know the, uh, the we did a bang uh, a baggage handler sketch where where Tim was a, the baggage handler on a conveyor belt going up to an airplane mm -hmm. and putting the luggage on and stuff. And Harvey was the supervisor coming, and uh, you know they didn't do any breakups in that sketch. Uh, it, it didn't happen with every single no. sketch. No.